What's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and I am playing some more Diablo Immortal tonight. Uh, I have reached level 60, and I am literally facing the final boss, trying to beat him for the first time. Um, yeah, I I don't hate the game, I don't love the game, there are things that are cool about it, there are things I hate about it. Uh, I'm going to show you my character, my stats, my skills, my items, um, then we're going to try to beat this boss, and I'm just going to talk about, you know what I think about the game while we're playing. Let's look at um, my skills to start with. Most of the game I ran was Scorch, but against the final boss, who's stationary for the most part, Meteor seems better. Um, and then we've got Arcane Wind, which does extra damage against burning enemies. So my kind of my rotation is Meteor. And then I've got Arcane Wind, and I can do this double because of an item I'm using. And then Disintegrate, and I've got an item that'll make this, instead of a channel it'll instantly deal a high amount of damage so it's usually like bam 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 and then i'll hold down ray of frost until uh, i run out of energy and then start the cycle over again maybe electrocute if if i need to um as far as a gear and i am free to play i haven't spent a single penny on the game i don't have the battle pass i haven't bought any of the bundles i am completely free to play um my gear, mostly Rock and Legendaries here. Uh, this helps my teleport, which I'm not using at the moment. Uh, this is the one that uh, makes Disintegrate instant. This is the one that makes Arcane Wind no longer charge up. It does uh, frost damage also. This is the one that gives me a second charge of Arcane Wind. This one makes enemies explode when you disintegrate them. And then a rare here. I've got Legendary gems and everything, though they haven't really... I think I've leveled one of them up. Um, yeah, a bunch of rares here. I've got everything a couple of ranks up. Nothing that high, though. Um, it's all free to play. So, kind of limited. Clearly, I would be better off if I had spent some money. But uh, this is where I'm at. There's no trading. So this is, like, all just what I have self-found. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and try to kill Skarn. Okay, so here we go. I did change out um, my primary attack to Magic Missile. Uh, I found, since it's mostly single target here, it actually helped quite a bit. And this is not my first attempt. This is probably like my tenth attempt. This guy is an asshole. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, like, there are things I liked about the game. I liked the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Remind me a lot of Diablo 3, where the game was fun... But, like, the skill system, the itemization, all that was kind of, you know, there's no permanence. It was kind of, like, it just felt not quite right. Like, they got it better by the time the expansion, you know, finally released and through patches. Um, but this was a lot like Diablo 3 did at release. Um, and uh, I've got problems with it. Um, you know, monetization, obviously, is a big one. But even beyond the monetization... I was kind of losing interest, like, around the level 40 to 50 mark. Like, the game's pretty good from, <clears throat> like, 1 to 30. I didn't have any complaints. They were constantly giving you, like, story beats and interesting stuff. And I'm mostly playing... Oh, jeez. Uh, mostly playing this for the story and, and kind of to get more lore. And, like, I'm wondering, is this going to feed into Diablo 4? Are they going to reveal any interesting stuff? You know, in the gap between Diablo 2 and 3. And for the most part, I would say, if you're playing this for the lore, kind of wasting your time. Like, they they do bring back a couple of characters from, from Diablo 2 and, and 3. Tarsi and Zul and uh, an Assassin and, and stuff like that. Um, but most of them are there just to, like, push the quests along. They really don't just reveal any interesting, like, backstory or lore. Um... You know, that otherwise would have filled in the world. And I really don't think much of this is ever going to be referenced again. Like, I don't think Diablo 4 is ever going to reference Skarn or or much of the story that happened here. Um, <clears throat> and what really killed it for me was, like, around level 32... Like, you finish the story, and then it's like, okay, to continue the story, um, you've got to level up 
I think the 35 it was and then you get the 35 and they give you like a little piece of story and then you you know you're level 37 they're like all right to continue the story now get to 40 and basically it tells you hey to get to 40 you know do bounties do uh elder rifts do bosses over and over again which i mean diablo that's diablo is running bosses over and over again imagine, imagine playing like diablo 2 and you know you're running through the story normally for the first time you beat Endariel and act one normal and then it's like hey run normal again for seven more levels and that's what it feels like like for a very long time like they keep just making you repeat this content over and over again even though um okay this part i'm gonna cheese because i keep getting it bugged and i found if i just run up here I don't die, and eventually he just forms back up. So if you're stuck on this part, just run up to his throne, and within a couple of rounds, he'll go back to normal. I cannot figure out how to do this part. I've tried everything. I read a guide. I can't get it to work right. So this is my workaround. Um, it's just kind of frustrating. Like, I just want to see the story. I just want to see what happens. And, like, every couple levels, it makes me go and do, like, repetitive bounties. And, um... I kind of either wish they would have produced more story content where they didn't have to do that, or they made the leveling faster. Like, as it is, it's just kind of boring. Like, if I'm gonna, you know, farm and stuff, it should be at the end, like in the post-game, I think. Making you do, like, all this stuff before you've even seen the end of the game, just, it gets really repetitive. And honestly, the gameplay loop and mechanics and story just aren't there enough where I'm probably gonna keep playing this. Like, I was pretty close to, to ending this a few times. Um, there we go. So like, overall, it's just kind of, like, forgettable. Like, the story just doesn't really go anywhere. Um, this demon that they introduced basically is just a demon who found, like, Diablo's skin, I guess, and used it to become a new Diablo, kind of. Like, you do fight Bale. There's, like... I'm not sure if it's a flashback or actual time travel. But you go and you fight Bale. Um, I'm going to choose this again. Back when Zoltan Kool and Tal Rasha, you know, kill him and steal his... Uh, you know, put the, him in the Soul Stone and all that stuff. And it's kind of interesting. That's actually one of the most interesting beats. And it's literally just, you know, something that's from the normal Diablo lore. Um... And the gameplay's fine, and I think there's actually some interesting things, like the way some skills interact. Like, your your wind skill gets extra damage when enemies are burning. And, like, if you drop this ice orb, your channeled abilities, like, refract off of it in a really cool way. And, like, the way skills interact is pretty cool. But it's very mechanically simplistic in that there's very little choice. There's no uh, stat points at this point. Like, you'll get Paragon eventually. But you're basically just picking five skills without a lot of choices. There's no passives. You know, you have items that do augment these skills, but not in that interesting of ways. Um, and there's just like a million different systems and tabs and things to press and things to claim. But none of it really is there except to get you back into the shop. He's almost dead. And to try to make you buy things. Like, honestly... These guys have way too much health, and I'm pretty sure it's just to be a sponge and to encourage you to go to the shop and buy gear. I haven't spent any money, and I finally beat him. This is like the 10th try. I feel like this would have been way easier if I would have just spent some money, and that's the sad thing. Like, if they just cut all that out and they made it like cosmetics or new acts or, you know, adding more characters down the road, I think that would have been fine. Like, follow the model, like, Heroes of the Storm. They've already done it. It survived. But they didn't, you know, Corruption you could literally the blade. add crests to your Elder Run will know what to do rifts it. and get better drops. Like, does. it's the most repugnant thing for a Diablo game. It seems and I think I'm done with the game, you know, I, I, if that wasn't in there, maybe I would jump in this time to time, but good overall, means. the game isn't good enough, and then there's the monetization on top of it, so... I think I'm done from here. Maybe if they release some patches, or maybe if they go in and they fix some of the things people complain about. My mortal hands. 
I find anchor in the fires of hell. From the endless abyss. Wait a minute. Terror stalks creation. Didn't Diablo come back in Diablo 3 because of his connection to his daughter or whatever? Like Flee now! Get the shard away from mm -hmm. here! Why is that animation so horrible? It's like the cinematic from Warcraft 3. Not Reforged, like the original. Like, you remember at the end of the game where they use the in game graphics? Okay. Let's see. I want me to do something. I gotta talk to these people. Varathiel is inside! Throw open the gate! We have to reach her! Reckless and impossible. We lack the okay. strength. And doing so would imperil all that she sacrificed herself to save. Verafiol laid down her life to ensure the Lord of Terror did not claim the heart of creation. You are unworthy of such sacrifice, mortal. She felled countless demons across the field of eternity, only to suffer for an eon. You are not fit to question her. Andalon, remember her words and hold your ire for the enemy. While our mission is over at long last, we remain in the depths of hell. Discord among allies is of ill benefit. As for you, mortal, Verifiel commanded us to ensure you escaped hell with that stone. While... Reckless and impossible, we lack the strength. You are un... Andalon, remember... As for you, mortal... Verifiel commanded us to ensure you escaped hell with that stone. Do not stray from the light. Ah, friend, you've returned. We were beginning to fear the worst. Do you have it? The last Worldstone shard? Yes. But it came at a terrible cost. Diablo's soul has been freed within the burning hells. Diablo? Oh, no. No. No, it was done! The Lord of Terror was dealt with. This is a catastrophic turn of events. I had hoped we'd averted the end of days. But this... It is not over yet, Cain. What I saw was only a spirit. Diablo has not taken form. There is still time to prepare. I've been too complacent. A fool. I should have foreseen this outcome. Still, it seems not all hope has left us. At least you were able to wrest the shard from Hell's grasp. Come. We must destroy it while we are still able. Unsheath Yilnira, and let us banish this corrupted shard from our world. Yilnira. Hell's corruption is overtaking the blade. Look at it. The light has almost entirely faded from the Archangel's weapon. Can anything be done? I... I, I, I do not know. Uh, Charcy, 
Blades are your expertise. Tempering an Archangel's blade is beyond even the Herodric Malice's power. Even our best efforts can barely understand such strength. <sighs> Much less reforge it. Yet, Yulnira is the only hope we have of destroying the Shard. If Diablo returns to life and acquires this stone, I'm not certain anything could stop him. Oh, Tyrael, if only you were still here to guide us. We must use the blade as it is. Uh, hold on. You heard Charcy. The results could be catastrophic. We don't know what destroying the shard with a corrupted blade will do. It is no worse a fate than what Diablo would unleash upon us. Are you all right, my friend? That light nearly consumed you. I feared... Well, thankfully, it doesn't matter what I feared. Ilnira. It shattered. The blade has fulfilled. Besides, if what you saw is true, and Diablo's spirit survived, then the end of days has not been averted. We will need all the strength and knowledge we can muster. Come with me for a moment. I have a gift for you. It may prove useful, but I'm afraid you will have to uncover some of its secrets first. You hold a vessel of power that once belonged to my ancestor. Jared, against all odds, the Herodron. Thank you, Cain. I believe you, friend. But even if you are successful... Well, this has been the end of Diablo Immortal. I think I'm done, not just for tonight, but probably for a long while. Uh, honestly, I kind of wish I didn't complete this. The story never went anywhere. The connections just weren't there. And then ju they just kind of inserted Diablo in a kind of nonsensical way at the end. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you're playing, if you've given up, um, I may jump into this. Maybe they do some updates or they fix the monetization. But for now, I think I'm done. I do want to thank everyone for watching and uh, have a good night, everyone.